Good morning, my name is Lisa. And I'm Sophia. We are gathered here today to discuss the various aspects of vitamin water. This news report will feature everything from background information to getting our hands dirty with the chemical composition and everything in between. I'm so tired, Sophia. Me too. It's from all this chem homework. Ugh, what's this? Vitamin water? Oh, what is this thick bottle of concentrated liquid? Wow, it's called Orange Orange. Check out these ingredients, though. There's no orange in it. And yeah, this stuff is so good. Have you tried it before? Not that I can remember. Oh, can you tell me something about it, though? Sure, sweetie pie. I'll give you a quick history lesson. Ah, uh, not one of your lectures again. Well, it was created by J. Darius Bickoff in 1996. By 2007, he sold it for $4.1 million to Coca-Cola. Million? Don't you mean billion? Oh, sorry. Did I say million? I meant billion. Ugh. Old people. <laughs> and then what happened? Well, they've been partners ever since and are working together. Oh, wow. That's so cool. One of the main ingredients in vitamin water is crystalline fructose. It is a processed version of high fructose corn syrup. Crystalline fructose is actually 98% fructose. The fructose is derived from sugar cane. And did you know it's 20 times sweeter than regular sugar? It is a fairly safe ingredient when consumed in small quantities, but in larger quantities it can contribute to health problems such as obesity and it can even rot out your teeth. So the UPAC name for this molecule is 13456 Penta hydro high hex to one. Its uh, molecular formula is C6H12O6 and its common name is fructose. And this is what the structural diagram of fructose looks like. Another main ingredient is citric acid. Its role is to provide a sharp taste in sweets and soft drinks. Despite its natural occurrence in citrus fruits, it does have side effects if we consume too much of it. The outcome would be tooth erosion. Our bodies naturally produce up to two kilograms of citric acid every day. It is quickly metabolized and broken down by our bodies. Because of this, it is assumed to be a safe and non-toxic ingredient to add to vitamin water. So the UPAC name for it is 2-hydroxypropane-1,2,3-tricarboxylic acid. Its molecular formula is c 6 h 7 and its common name is citric acid. And this is the structural diagram. Are you going to watch the Leafs game tonight? Oh, uh, no, I can't. I have a swim team meeting today. I'm so thirsty, though. Do you have anything to drink? Yeah, I got this new vitamin water. It'll hydrate you. Do you want it? Oh, no, it's okay. Oh, no, seriously, take it. It's got a whole bunch of vitamins and nutrients. It'll have you performing at your best. No, I can't. The NCAA is going to ban me again. Oh, right, the National Collegiate Athletic Association. Yeah, last time I drank this, they caught me because of all the caffeine in my system, so I can't drink this kind of stuff no more. Oh, darn, so what are you going to do then? Guess I have to stick with water and fruits and vegetables and all that whole food stuff. Oh, so I guess all us athletes should just avoid this and just drink water and everything. Yeah, completely. They can't have that stuff. They get caught, they're out of the game. Hello, everyone. And good afternoon to all of our CP24 News viewers. We are here today to discuss a lawsuit. This lawsuit was filed against Coca-Cola by the CSPI, better known as the Center for Science in the Public Interest. 2009 was a very rough year for Coca-Cola because they had to argue their way <coughs> to staying in business based on claims they made about their chemically engineered sugar water. This sugar water is much better known as vitamin water. It was found that the ingredients in this drink prevent chronic and eye disease, promote healthy joints, and optimal immune function. But in reality, the ingredients prove otherwise. The 33 heaping grams of sugar in fact contribute to all these diseases, as well as insulin resistance obesity, elevated blood pressure, and even cancer. 
We will have more on this lawsuit as the information arrives.